Hey guys, and welcome to this video on the ones complement. So here what we want to do is convert the following binary numbers from the ones complement to decimal. And then here in purple, I have our three binary numbers that we want to convert from ones complement to decimal. And then here is basically the steps in the orange square here are the steps that are needed in order to do this conversion. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to identify is whether or not the, the uh, binary number is positive or negative. And so if the binary number is positive, so if it's positive, which means that the leftmost bit is zero, then all we do is a normal conversion from binary to decimal. Now, if the uh, binary number is negative, which means that the leftmost bit is a one, then we're gonna do the following steps here, which are first uh, flip the bits. So what that means is we're gonna change the bits from zero to one, and the bits that are one, we're gonna change those to zero. And then after that, we're gonna convert from binary to decimal. So just our normal conversion, and then we're just gonna put a minus sign in front of the value that we get. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have, uh-oh, looks like my marker is running out of uh, some ink here. So, okay, we have number one, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. All right, so what is that? Um, that is a positive uh, binary number because the leftmost bit is zero here. So we just do a normal conversion. So this is gonna be uh, uh, two, to the, two to the power of zero plus two to the power of one, which equals three. So that's just three. All right, so let's do our second binary number. And it is one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. So now this is a negative uh, binary number because the leftmost digit is a one. So what we do is we flip the bits. So originally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewrite this here, the original uh, binary number. So that's one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. And we're going to flip the bits. So now we're gonna get zero, zero, one, zero, uh, one, zero one one okay and now let's um convert from binary to decimal so this is just let's see zero one two three four five so this is going to be uh two to the fifth plus two to the third plus two to the one plus uh two to the zero which, if I'm doing my math right, is uh, 43. Okay, and then we do our last step, which is put a minus sign in front. So it's just gonna be a negative sign right there. Let me make some room here. So that equal 43, and I'm just gonna put a negative sign there. All right, so that second binary number is negative 43. And this last one here, I put in there because uh, it's kind of weird. So first thing we need to do is, of course, determine if it's negative or positive. And so we can see that the leftmost bit is a one, so it's negative, and we need to flip the bits. So I'm gonna rewrite this down here as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so there's eight um, bits there, eight one bits. And we're gonna flip it. So this is our flip here. So it's gonna change them all to zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zeros. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our second step, which is convert from binary to decimal. So this is pretty simple. This is just zero. And now this last part, put a minus sign in front of it, all right? So this equals negative zero. And you may say, wait, that doesn't make any sense. 
Um, and you're right. But like sign and magnitude representation, um, the ones complement has two representations of zero, and the two representations of zero are uh, one, 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 which is negative zero, and uh, the other representation is zero, 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 which is actually a positive zero. Okay, it's kind of weird, but uh, that's basically it. So this is the answer. I'm going to put it here. So that equals 3. This equals negative 43. And this equals negative 0. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Um, please leave any questions you have, comments. Let me know if I made any mistakes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.